the winning whistle, the radio show as you can see, we are once again back on Telltale's Minecraft story mode. That <coughs> I almost said something entirely different, I don't know why. A group so old that they <coughs> it happens every once in a while. Stone. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, sorry, I hear, I'm hearing something. It's uh, just, uh, it just fucking windy outside. And I'm just trying to figure out how windy it is. Pretty fucking windy. That's all I can say. It happens. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much better. We're gonna keep running through and through. Get off of me. Get it off. Uh, and there goes a squiddy. Uh, son of a bitch. Okay, there's that. Sorry, I just turned my volume up because I cranked all the way. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here. In you go. Let's see. What just happened? Uh, don't really know, Lucas. <laughs> don't really know. Ahem. <sighs> <laughs> the hell? Whoa. Okay, we are up the other way. Ah, <sighs> shit. It is. <No. laughs> Fucking cold. Ice lakes. Down! Ow. Who did it? It was Petra. Uh, it was Petra. It was Ibor. Come on. Uh, at least they're not cold this time. What the fuck's happening in each world? I wish they would give us a small preview. Like, okay, this happened, this happened, this happened. That was crazy. It really could have even been a fire world. I'm wondering this as well. <gasps> Up, oh, his ass is on fire. Put out, put out, put out. Him. Thanks, guys. Uh, no problem, Lucas. Now let's see. I marked that one down as fire. Oh, yeah, I can tell you this. Wow. You come I have actually. Uh, okay, how can I, I put something? this without sounding like? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up a total. With what's up? I'm conceited tired of all douche. Useless, I don't know nothing. if that's gonna be a thing, but. To find our way home. I what's have. Since I've been, fire and netherrack? Awesome. I'm Let's trying to think of the there. right, Come on, Petra, what the number was, stuff, not the number, or the age stone. was. Since I was about maybe oh, 14, I've been. I know you love your pep talks and all, Jesse. I guess, uh, con not talk. conscious. Uh, what the fuck is the word? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <laughs> See, I've had, I guess, image about. cell like s bad self-image things about my body. And every time, like, I start to feel better, my dad's side of the fucking family, like, my aunt, or his sister will go that. They put me down saying, ah, you, you didn't give it, you're still this, you're still that. Like, thanks, I feel completely like shit again just because you had to say you feel this way, you feel that, or you start feeling good about yourself. Because they want no one to feel good except if it's them. Compared to everybody else, it's like, oh, their family or someone they know. You're this way, you're this way. Like, oh, I make myself feel better. Well, you feel like shit. Like, thanks. It's not me trying to get sympathy. Like, oh, you should feel, shouldn't feel this way or this way. I'm just saying that's how I felt for years. And it got on my nerves. So this time, I, I'm saying, fuck it. Just calm down, okay? All right, I have something for years. Saying they want to try to make fun of me. I'll just say, well, you have a fat ass. So what are you saying? And you're fucking stupid. Made up your mind. You're just gonna go through this portal, and that's it. Trust me. If well, you, if you meet, uh, if you ever meet my family on my dad's side, you want a fucking claymore, kick him or whatever else right in the head. Whoa. <clears throat> yes. Whoa. These Petra trudges. Just because they are annoying and shit, they think they know every little thing, and they have to be this and this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like I told my dad about him before I went down to this place, because. Like I said, I don't know Sorry, when this is. Petra, this stuff's gonna be uploaded. The other stuff, away. but it's. Accept your apologies. See, it's uh. okay. Friends being friendly. 
Because I recorded a massive amount of stuff because I was going to my dad's room uh, about December 20th, or it wasn't my dad's room on December 20th, about maybe the end of November. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, and I was, <laughs> November's like, the fuck are you there for? For that long, like, end of January is what I meant. Around, middle of January, end of January, around there. So there's that. Plus, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, we fell in some wherever. Uh, now what was I going to say? So yeah, like I, nah, I remember I have a moment of that shit. Shit upload. You're right. But yeah, like my dad's side of the family, they try to make me feel like shit since I've been about 14. And the more and more, uh, it's just as I've gone to be problem. more into I myself, hell, you know, you, you used to not it's be able to talk a lot. And stuff. <laughs> it wasn't because that was me. It's because every time I tried to talk to them, they would say, yeah, that's that's cute. It's not a fun topic, but that's cute. So much for my hunch with that they shut me down like, wrong. okay. No advanced civilization anywhere. So it's like, well, that's so fun. I try to make be myself and come into my own. You shoot me the fuck down and make me feel like I'm stupid. No squids on fire. Let me feel like in the R word. Maybe you're right. I said the R word. I'm not going to say it. I've said it, I almost said it hey, once, but that's because the situation called for it. It looks like some sort of. Uh, do you want to know why? Because they they don't so give a fuck about, about you. They only care about journal, themselves. Either of you see where it goes? <laughs> They'll backstab you in the like back if you don't play pocket, their game. So it's got to lead somewhere. Like example, I I can tell you this. Like I guess my Antonia. Jesse's right. I stop calling them Come all on. aunts and uncles and all that. I just say this, this. I say their name. They don't. They think they realize, but they don't understand why. It's not that smart. Clay and Morrison. And well, I got some horrible news about myself, and I when I got it, it was my hey, nana's 80th that? birthday. So I I was doing my best yeah. to socialize, and I said I don't want here. my presence Petrol to be known. I just want, don't want pictures Petrol. taken of me because I'm not in the mood. What is it? I'm talking what? to my stepsister Whoa. and she this one she was about to have her kid right or close to it and i was like how so you doing yeah as a truthful not good exactly what got some I personal information personal Maybe stuff that this world's thing. really affected me and i don't want to say it i don't want to this and i'm talking to her and saying oh you take a picture i said no leave me alone so. please Their exact words oh, i hope not the ants once again quotations Exact words oh, I said. On. This was, well, look at me, like you don't hate me. And then I said, why don't you just fuck off? <laughs> and she let me alone. But then she's been a little bitch after that. Saying, oh, I know this. <laughs> Hell, whenever, you know what the fucking worst thing is? Every time I'm in a room with so anyway, dad's side of the family, they don't look at me. They don't acknowledge me. i just like, oh, it's just some I idiot. And I was like, they don't want to show me respect. Why should I show them respect? This should be a piece of cake. Because, well, because I don't really care about them. Okay. It sounds wrong, but yeah, the respect that they that they right. they've never shown me respect since I've been young. They never have. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna show you no respect. Okay, no respect for you then. That's pretty much how it's gonna go because I should. I my, I told my dad this. Angry as me, I said I go by the mantra. What if you show me respect, I'll show you respect. You show, show me disrespect and treat me like shit, I'll just give it right back. Because I like to be shown respect because since I was young, my whole dad's side of the family, they treat me like I was the most stewardess, the most fragile thing ever that, you know, you can't do all this, you gotta help him. Like, oh, you gotta show someone else take the blame. Like, just because I'm that, I'm different. I I play to my own drum beat. I think that makes them mad because they tried tried to influence me and I turned out differently. They say, no, you can't like video games, you can't like this, you can't like that. Like, I like video games still. Love anime. Magic Gathering, Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh! Don't play them. Play Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon anymore. Collect the cards every once in a while. Well, that was we do that? With what? Maybe. The power of our imagination. Uh, excuse me. It's me who I am. Like hell, I have tattoos. But when I'm my aunt has tattoos, she's probably saying, yeah, he got tattoos because of me. Like, no, I never got tattoos because of you. I got some tattoos. The tattoos I had because it was some of my bucket list I always wanted. Makes sense to me. 
because I don't mind telling you this because it happened. Because all the shit that's happened to me when I was like born, I, I hell for a while, for a good amount of time, I actually never was able to get blood taken from me just because of all the shit that happened. But after a certain amount of time, well, actually, the first year my mom and dad divorced, I had to get blood taken for some stuff. I said, you know what? Why should I be scared? Just do it. They did that, and I started be being less scared. This might sound crazy, but because I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound. Crazy. And well, like I said, I've been, I did it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Lucas. These mobs might not. And then I said, if I got that, maybe I can get some anywhere. tattoos. But then, of course, my aunt be my fucking aunt, or the careful. fucking moron she was. She tried to scare me away, saying I want to be the only one to spare me with tattoos. Like, uh, huh. Guess what? I didn't listen. I said, if it hurts, it hurts. I'm not going to continue. You're going to hurts, it hurts. And that's why my tattoo artists love me, because I do not cry. I do not say, oh, I have to get it up and go to all this and take, like, a 20-minute break. I say, how long is it going to be? About four hours? Okay, give me a sec. Get nice and comfy. 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 And then I'm good to go. I sit there like, or sit or lay there like a rock, depending where. This is, like, mega quiet. <laughs> Where is, I'm getting tattooed. Let your guard down for one like hell in November, I got tattooed on my forearm and my wrist. Hate the fucking hey, wrist with a, with a passion. Told you guys there would be red stone. Nice. But most of the part I hate the There's like where the bones stone. are on the, your I side of the wrist. You know, you know where I'm talking about when. Back of the like heads. go to your, go to your wrist right now and go right where the hand stops and then feel around there. You feel those bone, those couple bones that jut out like that area. That area and a bit higher up. What's it look like? Right in the bone. Those fucking hurt to get tattooed. I hate them. I hate the elbow. Just because it rows the shit out of my the bone. And it's like, okay, I feel that. I don't want it right on there. I have some on there, but not fully. Or I, uh, some of there aren't fully, but other ones I have, I still have my elbow clear. The ditch for certain area, for certain ones, it, it did hurt certain ones. I didn't even feel it. Are you okay? Uh, and right by the armpit, which I have some there. And the bicep. Fucking hell, I hate the bicep. It sucked. Think he's friendly? Hello. Uh. Hello. No. Nope. Not in the least, right, Ivor? But yeah, there's that shit. Another thing I hate. I hate that fucking vegan teacher. She's a fucking moron. Do you know she's telling kids, saying, oh, you've eaten meat, you're going to go to hell. Okay, just Really, you're going to go to hell because you eat meat, you're saying that to a kid. Yeah. That is just fucking so wrong, pushing your own beliefs on the kids. Know. Like, no, you're not going to go to hell. Like, hell, I know my, I think, I know some people who are vegan, and, or who are vegan. They're not assholes, they have to do it for some medical stuff. The only problem with eating vegan, and this is not me saying, oh, you should... There. Not saying anything about them, but uh, be me. But that take a lot of vitamins because some of them stuff they would get from I meat they can't get anymore. So it's like <laughs> iron, I think B vitamin twelve or C twelve vitamin. I can't remember. Huh? Oh, some type of vitamins. Uh, Scale let's one see. To ten, how weird was that guy? Cause he seemed pretty weird. But that doesn't nothing bad. Like I'm not gonna diss him. Well, the vegan tears you can go right to fucking hell. Saying kid, like the kid, oh, you're going to go to hell and repent because to to? you had meat and you're not supposed to eat meat. Yeah, and like you're not supposed to kill living things. Eyes, well, red, in that case, then you should, you should like someone be that. saying, you know, you're killing living things as well because of plants and all that. Jesse? Oh, I want, I want, really want to smack the vegan teacher because really? she's feeding her dog that. fucking on, vegan stuff. Saying, you know, he's good. He's a healthy, like, fucking dog's barfing up on the. In the grass because he's having stuff that is yeah, fucking the yeah, system up. Do you know why dogs eat grass? Because they have something that doesn't agree with them, they eat it to throw it up, and the dog's doing that all the time. Uh, hi. Uh, what do you want? That you, Pama? Here's Pama. Okay then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long. Uh, no idea. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? Nope. You really expect me to believe that? 
What kind of fool do you think I am? A really big fool, to be honest here. I don't. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Yeah. I know I'll never be the same. Shook my world so hard.